Welcome to the Treasury Report. As we start, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce the Treasury team, which has had significant change since our last constituency meeting in 2016. I am Galen Bowers, Vice President for Finance, also known as Treasurer for the conference. And this is Rebecca Dong, Associate Treasurer. We are glad to be serving the constituents for the Minnesota Conference Association of Seventh-day Adventists. Over the past six years, 2016 through 2021, the Minnesota Conference saw a significant growth in income. In 2018, there was a $600,000 increase over the past year, and that was one of the most significant increases up to that time. In 2020, with the impact of COVID, we were hoping and praying not to have a decline in the tide. And praise the Lord, through the faithfulness of our members, we actually had an increase of over 3%. However, in 2021, we saw even a greater increase at 9.99%, and it was the first time we had hit the $10 million mark. Twice in the past quadrennium, we had to draw on tithe reserves to meet the year's expenses. Thankfully, in the other two years, we were able to put back almost all the tithe that was withdrew, and with the gain from 2021, we were able to increase our tithe reserve by $300,000. It is through the giving of our faithful members that we have seen this significant growth in tithe. Rebecca, tell us a little bit about the Minnesota Advance. During the past quadrennium, Minnesota Advance saw a decline in 2017, then remained pretty flat through 2019. However, in 2020, we saw the lowest total giving to Minnesota Advance since 2007. This was somewhat expected with the shutdown of churches, although still unfortunate. We did see this offering almost completely recover in 2021. Unfortunately, with less Minnesota Advance offering, we have less funds to support evangelism, our schools, our summer camp, or new church building purchases. We hope and pray that Minnesota Advance will increase in the future rather than decrease. We want you to understand how the tithes and offerings that you give are used by the church. We are set up as a sisterhood of churches that is worldwide. The larger and more affluent support the smaller so that the gospel can go to every part of the earth. Tithe can only be used for the support of the gospel ministry. This is defined by carefully studied and thought out church policy, but in broad terms, this includes pastors, Bible workers, evangelists, conference administration, and part of the teacher's salary. The support of these people includes their salary and benefits, supplies, tools, or continuing education for the ministry. We also pay the Adventist Retirement Plan to support thousands of ministry workers who have retired. Now, Rebecca, share with us what tithe cannot be used for. Tithe cannot be used for purchasing church or school buildings. It cannot be used for the maintenance or repair of those buildings either. We are counseled that this is to be paid for by the free will offerings of the members. Tithe also cannot be used for non-employee-related legal fees or the majority of teacher staff expenses. We have to cover all of these expenses with non-tithe dollars. We get non-tithe funds in the form of appropriations from the Mid-America Union and the North American Division allocated to specific areas. We may get some through matured trusts or wills, but this is sporadic. And of course, there is the Minnesota Advance offering collected each month. In the past six years, we started allowing churches to invest their excess funds with the conference's pooled funds in order to earn a better interest rate than is accessible for most bank savings accounts. During that time, our total investments have grown to $4.3 million and total assets over this six year period have increased by $5.1 million. Due to the faithfulness of each of our members over the past six years, we in the Minnesota Conference praise God for the many wonderful ways He has blessed each of us and we look forward to His guiding us into the future.